Hello, this screen capture is from my GCC CIS 150AB class. This is Gary Marr, and I'm covering a skateboard solution or the Moosehead Skateboard Company solution to Chapter 10. In this chapter, we're primarily talking about events and how, at least in this case anyways, I can simulate a GUI environment with a text environment by waiting or listening for a keyboard entry and then based on that keyboard entry, firing another method which would be the handler for that key. So for example, in this case here, like the example covered in class called menus ex.py, I have a main menu. Um, the options here were inside the assignment, uh, S, B, C, O, and X. You really have to worry about S and X. But what I'm going to do here is take input, and then I'm going to continue to loop until I get either an X, uppercase X, or lowercase X. Because I'm using the two upper function, Python, what the way this comparison works, it takes whatever I key in, it compares it to an uppercase X. But whatever I key in is automatically converted to uppercase. So that means no matter if the person hits a lowercase S, X or an uppercase X, it'll compare it against uppercase because there's a conversion and it'll be a lot less logic down below. Um, here's my loop. The loop has the impact of listening or waiting for the event to happen. Um, I can hit any one of these letters and if I do, the appropriate logic below will send it off to the appropriate option. For this assignment, uh, I'm interested in seeing the menu options and that one of the menu options works, in, or two of the menu options work. One, the search, and one, the exit system. The other ones, you can simply just display the option on the screen, do whatever you'd like. In this case, if I do select an S, it comes down here, converts my entry to uppercase, and then it compares it to uppercase S. If it's a match, it goes off to another method or function called browse menu, which is just below here. Brown menu, uh, browse menu paints a different screen, gives me some different options. The only one here I'm really interested in is the R option, the return to the main menu. And down below here, you again, you'll see that I convert it to uppercase right here. I don't have to worry about that so much with the numbers, but with the R, I convert it to uppercase, compare it to uppercase R, and if it's a match, I'll clear my screen, which is basically wiping all the text from it, and then go back to main menu. If the user doesn't give me a valid entry, the else loop will break out, the else block will break out the bottom here and simply say invalid choice must be these letters. The important thing in this assignment is to understand that this is a console application that we've made to simulate what happens in an event-driven programming environment typically found with GUIs. Rather than having a buttons or mouse clicks, to actually fire the event, we're using our keyboard, clicking the keyboard, and then enter to actually simulate the event. The while loop is listening for that event, and then whatever is executed when it gets that event is the event handler. In this case, it's a function. In fact, in most cases, it will be a function, no matter what programming language you're working with. What I would do next is use this example, and I'll also place it in the S drive as the basis for the Eaglehead fruit example, our assignment, that you have to do for chapter 10. Thank you.